Ladies and gentlemen, Truth Social looks like it is heading towards an iceberg. I will explain. This is a Bloomberg article from Yahoo News. Donald Trump's Truth Social cut staff as SPAC languages. He'll be on Twitter. He'll be back on Twitter, which is better for him, much better, uh, before 24. So he'll be back on Twitter, which is really what he needs. Um, I think that he's waiting until either 24 or, you know, the end of 23. I don't think that Truth Social, even though he tried to make it an alternative to Twitter, Twitter itself doesn't really have a future long term in terms of a financial future. You look, there's bill, what, 12, over $12 billion in debt that it has, and they are losing money. They lost a couple hundred million Twitter last uh, year, and then they lost a billion the year before. Correct me if I'm wrong in the in, correct me if I'm wrong in the um, in the in the comment section. So Truth Social, it's not so much that well it was th just this failed experiment. It's that media, a lot of these media companies, especially companies that have message board based platforms, like a basically a glorified message board. I know that people don't people don't think of Twitter like that, but. This the social media is not flourishing, even though, you know, the consequences of social media we're all, we're all experiencing. But here, the tech industry, as we saw with Silicon Valley Bank, is, I mean, you could see Facebook, you could see Twitter, you could see all of these companies, um, all of these companies are losing money or they're not growing so Facebook isn't losing money, but it's not growing as fast, not nearly as fast as it used as it as as it did, and they're laying off employees. So he'll be back on Twitter, which will be a lot better for him. He just has to make sure to utilize Twitter in a way that doesn't give his opponents and like political will or momentum. So here, this is an article from Bloomberg, Donald Trump's Truth Social cuts staff as SPAC languishes. The company behind former President Donald Trump's Truth Social staff uh, has trimmed staff while awaiting regulatory approval for a merger that offers a financial lifeline, according to two people with knowledge of the matter. So they have lost a great deal of internet traffic or views. So they've lost a, like a 50% of their business essentially with Truth Social has plummeted. Trump Media and Technology Company, Truth Social parent company, laid off about half a dozen people, including senior members of its ranks, such as Chief Technology Officer. Okay, according to the people who asked not to be identified, Lawson was the third person to hold that role in the company. Some close to Trump Media estimated can fund operations through September at present spending levels. So if you, if you listen, you say, well, they're not going bankrupt. What are you talking about? It's through September at present spending levels. Maybe the merger with the PAC um, could help them a little bit past September. But launched last year, Truth Social has been a uh, choice. Trump's choice is he was banned from Twitter, but he's no longer banned from Twitter. Okay, he's no longer banned from Twitter. So, Democrats like to say, oh, look, all these string of failed businesses, but he's still a billionaire. So, you can, you can go after Trump all you'd like. He's still a billionaire. And that's according to Wikipedia, the Bible of Democrats and morally superior, uh, wonderful liberals everywhere. So, hit subscribe to this channel. By the way, I will have a live stream tonight at around 10 p.m., probably 10, 10, 15 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're up, be here for uh, the live stream. Um, we're going to talk about this in a whole lot. I mean, there's a lot going on, but Trump back on Twitter is going to be very important. Uh, his voice needs to be heard throughout the country and not through, not, not filtered through media. 
okay? And so what'll take place is it'll be a story about what he said on Truth Social, which isn't really helping Truth Social because they only have enough money to fund their operations through September. What he needs to do is get back on Twitter, make sure that he doesn't see Twitter is like a double-edged sword. Hit subscribe to my super chat to my super thanks. It's below if you enjoy my work. Um to my new Patreons, thank you. And go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in the Hill, the Huffington Post, Shalom, the Jerusalem Post, the Federalist, and other publications. This is with Trump and Twitter, the issue is the following, okay? You have a big problem with Trump creating more energy and enthusiasm and electricity for his adversaries through Twitter than for than than than, than for his supporters, which are over seventy million people, by the way. So seventy million plus people vote, voted for Trump two years ago. Okay. Media likes to say, oh, there's a base, there's a Trump base. The, the, the Republican Party is Donald Trump's political party. It's no longer the Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld people, okay? So it's no longer the never-Trump Republicans who want endless wars. You see what's taking place in Europe right now. You have an invasion that is a, over a year old. It would not have taken place with Trump because he would have pushed the United States would have been a broker for some kind of peace deal or negotiated settlement. Now, you look at the economy. What Biden is doing, what his administration is doing is just, un it's, I, hope, I hope that it works, but unfortunately, I think it's just trying to prevent the inevitable, which is, there, there's have already been bank runs there, the confidence is not there. Okay, so we have an economic either collapse, I think stock market crash, and possible collapse on the horizon. Okay, I, I mean, you talk about economic collapse, yeah, I mean, it's going to be terrible. I think it'll be terrible. I think there'll be a stock market crash, and I think that you're going to have an 08 type of financial crisis, and you won't be able to pump trillions more into the economy like you did. So that was a self-induced wound, shutting down economic activity. But see, again, a lot of what took place, Trump on Twitter, he'll be back on Twitter because Truth Social is almost certainly not going to withstand all what all these tech companies have to go through now, okay? By the way, if I was one of the ladies at The View, I would say, oh, they voted for this because tech... The Silicon Valley voted overwhelmingly for Biden. Well, none of this wouldn't happen with Trump. We wouldn't have 6% inflation with Trump because Trump would have immediately in 21 pushed the country to reopen and Democratic governors were taking their sweet time, but he wouldn't have gone after oil and gas companies. Within those lawsuits, if the rebuttal is, well, oil and gas has nothing to do with it, within those lawsuits, they said, you're going to make oil and gas skyrocket. Then inflation is going to skyrocket. And that's what took place. That's what took place. So you have exactly what people voted for, unfortunately. They didn't vote for an economic decline, but we have inflation of 6 to 9%, real wages down. We wouldn't have these problems with Trump because he would let the oil and gas industry flourish, which is what should happen. Because there's no alternative. And Biden pumped 200 million barrels of strategic petroleum reserves into the, the economy. And then when you tell a wonderful, morally superior liberal this, oh, well, we had to do it. Yeah, you had to do it because there's no alternative to uh, oil and gas because the economy runs on oil and gas. Trump knows this. But they're caught between idealism and, and like flawed social and economic and, and, and theories. And everything that they demand is either a, cri is a crisis that must be met through their ideas, 
And so the environment is important. Yeah, you have to do exactly what they say as they pump 200 million barrels of strategic petroleum reserves and watch inflation skyrocket. The inflation is directly caused by Biden because 2% inflation, he, he started with 2% inflation. And uh, the invasion in Europe is directly linked to Biden's policies, both of which would not be in existence if Trump were, were, in, were in office. He has to be able to communicate that through Twitter. You, and he can't just create a world where people say, I don't care. I, I'll deal with anything. I see BMs above as long as Trump's not tweeting. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe. I'll be back at probably before 10 o'clock, but I will definitely be doing a live stream at around 10, 10, 15. Thanks, everybody.